Hello, welcome back to the Leesonville Technical Center. I'm Jonathan Smith. Have you ever wondered what all the other posts are on the back of your alternator? What's an L terminal? What's an S terminal? What does remote sense mean? What does a lamp driver do? What's the ignition excite? Do I have self excite? We're going to answer all these questions today. Most of the time when you take off an alternator, you're only going to hook up the wires that you took off. So if you only take off a positive and a negative wire, then those are the ones that you're going to put back on. You don't have to worry about any of these other posts. But if there's another wire that's hooked up, then you want to decide where that goes. Let's begin with remote sense, which is the S terminal. Now most alternators sense battery voltage at the B plus and then make voltage accordingly. But through the cable from the B plus to the batteries, there's cable resistance and there could also be voltage drops at each connection point between the B plus and the battery. That will give you a voltage drop in that line. What remote sense does is it compensates for the battery voltage drop in the line by reading the battery voltage on a separate line to the batteries. So if there's a three tenths of a volt drop between the alternator and the battery, so the alternator is putting out 14.2 volts, but the battery is only getting 13.9 volts, the remote sense will tell the alternator to go up three tenths of a volt. So now the alternator will put out 14.5 volts to get 14.2 volts back to the battery. There are several advantages to remote sense. First, your battery can live up to 27% longer because it's charged at an optimal voltage, so it has less temperature cycles. Your electrical components in your system are also going to have an extended life because they are also run at an optimal voltage, such as your switches, blower motors, fan clutches. Remote Sense is also better for cabling. If you have 20 feet from your alternator to your battery, you're going to have more cable resistance, which is going to give you more voltage drop. So one way to compensate is to go with a bigger cable, but if you have remote sense, you'll be able to compensate for the resistance in the line through your remote sense line. One thing I always recommend with remote sense is to make sure you check the voltage drop in your line to make sure that it doesn't increase over time. We recommend no more than 0.25 voltage drop on the positive side and 0.25 on the negative side. So as that time goes, if that increases, then you know you're going to, you have a cabling issue somewhere in the line, whether there's a bad connection or green in the cable somewhere. So always check your voltage drops. The other thing about remote sense on our units is it's a smart sense system. So if the remote sense line gets cut somewhere, the alternator will automatically revert back to B plus sense. So you don't have to worry about that. The L terminal stands for lamp driver. So if your vehicle is equipped with a lamp driver feature, you hook that wire up, and the premise is if the alternator goes bad, the light will illuminate on your dash, telling you have an alternator problem. Next, we're going to talk about the W terminal, or on some models it's called an AC tap. And what that is is simply when the rotor passes that point on the stator, there's a pulse. So if you have a rotor that has six poles, you would have six pulses per revolution. And what they used to do is hook your tachometer to that, so that pulse for six pulses would be one revolution, and that would power your tachometer. Most people don't use it like that anymore, but that's what it's for. Lastly, can you use a self-excite alternator in place of an ignition excite? The simple answer is yes. Simply put in your new alternator, take your ignition lead, put some black tape around it, zip tie it up out of the way, and your new alternator is going to charge your vehicle just fine. Thanks for tuning in today. Please stay tuned for more technical videos from Prestolite Lease Neville.